Welcome to our presentation today, which we will be able to discuss about staging system of bone tumors. Remember from our previous discussion, we talked about the introduction part of bone neoplasmias or the tumors. We did also on the clinical presentation and as well the radiographic presentation and other investigation uh, to be undertaken regarding bone tumors. So about the staging of tumors, we have uh, it's an assessment of the grade of tumor and the extent to which the disease has spread. Several grading systems have been used, but all have the purpose of helping physicians plan a logical treatment program and establish the prognosis of the patient. So we have staging and we as well have the grading. With due reasons, I'll not present grading today, but I hope so we'll get in touch about the grading of tumor on our next lesson. So in this case, we will briefly have check on system of the American musculoskeletal tumor grading, which is the Enneking system of grading. So without much ado, let's consider the Enneking grading system. The Enneking has three points of scale for classifying tumors and specifically bone tumors. And these are stage one, two, and three, donated with Roman numbers on the basis of the histological and biological appearance and the likelihood of metastasizing to regional lymph nodes or distant sites such as the lung. So this is basically how Enneking are uh, classified or sorry, stage uh, about the bone tumors. So it, as we have the first one being a 1A, that is low grade and it's uh, for intracompartmental, and that's the lesion confined to single anatomical plane. Uh, the, the other one, which is uh, 1B, is also low grade, but it's for extracompartmental, which is beyond a single compartment. Then we have 2A, and that's high grade, which donates intracompartmental also. And then we have uh, 2B, which is high grade extracompartmental. And finally, the third is the lesion, which is high or low grade intra or extra compartmental with distant original metastasis. So the difference between the ones uh, from above and this third one is that this of the third is the one which metastasizes from other regions of the body or from other organs. The high or low grade is histological grading done based on changes within the cells like pleomorphism Aplasia, multicellularity, and due to malignancy, one, uh, zero being benign, one is low grade in malignancy, and then two is uh, high. So these are the uh, staging system of bone tumors, and the best one, which is the Enneking staging, and it's also the one used by the American pathologists and the oncologists. So for the grading system, as said, I'll bring with you uh, on our next discussion. So let's move to classification of bone tumors. And for with us, we have a table here. And the tumors uh, are right here with us also. We have the benign and the malignant. And we have those arising from bone, we have those arising from cartilage, and those arising from fibrous tissue. And finally, we have those tumors of uncertain origin. For those arising from bone, we have osteoma, which is benign, osteodosteoma, osteoblastoma, and the giant cell tumor. And their malignant form, we have the osteosarcoma and the other one, which is parosteo. We have those arising from cartilage, and their benign form, we have enchondroma, osteochondroma, or cartilage cap exostosis. We have chondromyxoid fibroma and the chondroblastoma while their malignant form have the chondrosarcoma. Those arising from fibrous tissue, we have fibrous cortical defect, non ossifying fibroma, fibrous dysplasia, and the malignant form, we have malignant fibrous histiocytoma, which is MFH. Then those of uncertain origin, we have simple bone cyst, aneurysmal bone cyst, which donates us uh, being the benign form of uncertain origin, uh, and they're still the tumors of bone. Then the malignant form, we have Ewing sarcoma and the adamantinoma. 